What's up, traders? Zach here from the Trading Network. Hope you guys are doing well. It is Monday, June 14th, and I've got a little bit of a different video for you guys. This video is going to be discussing some crypto stuff, and more specifically, how to trade via exchanges like FTX and Binance with NinjaTrader and Tick Data. Now, this is something that is very exciting as a very, very small percentage of anybody who is trading crypto is using tick data and even has access or knows how to access this information. So what this is, is essentially an add-on that you install to NinjaTrader that allows you to connect your FTX or Binance account and trade essentially seamlessly through NinjaTrader and really use data that you can't even get on these exchanges directly, which is incredible. So uh, I will show you guys that I have here the Ethereum Perpetual Futures contract on the 377 tick chart. I've got all my regular indicators, even things like uh, cumulative delta, which is fantastic and something that you do not very often see on a cryptocurrency chart. So I'll just show you guys here. If I go down to my FTX selection, you can see I have all of these different assets that I can trade, different perpetual futures, uh, different types of futures that have expiration as well, all different altcoins, Bitcoin, all sorts of stuff here. Very, very exciting stuff if you guys are interested in crypto. Uh, now, if you guys have watched my interview with Eric Crown, you would know that I have been involved in the crypto space for quite some time. And I can with confidence say, this is one of the most exciting discoveries that I've made in regards to trading crypto in the entire time I've been involved in the space. So with that said, uh, I will show you guys how to download this add-on for yourself, check out the demo, and give it a spin. All right, so first and foremost, what you are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to ninjatools.studio slash FTX dash Bitcoin dash demo. I will put that link below in the description as well so you can guys can get right to it. You want to download and import the FTX demo startup. If you guys are not familiar how you do that is you want to go to tools import and then ninja script add-on and you should see a file in your downloads folder called ftx demo start obviously i have the paid version so i have the regular ftx folder you're going to want to double click that you will get a notification to indeed restart your ninja trader which will then give you that nice ftx logo at the top left of your control center here on ninja trader from there, you are going to want to create that API key at ftx.com slash profile. And we'll move over to FTX and I'll show you guys briefly how to do that. All right, so here you can see I am at ftx.com slash profile. I've got the TTN logo blocking out some of my information like my API keys. And what you guys are gonna wanna do to create your own API key is click this button down here, okay? That is going to pop up a box with a API key and a secret key. You're going to then copy the API key and the secret key, and you're going to put it into Ninja. So we're gonna go back to Ninja, and we're going to go to FTX, we're gonna to go to FTX settings, and then we're going to add another account. And you can see that there is a slot for the API key and the secret key, okay? Now you want to paste the appropriate keys in the appropriate boxes, click OK, and that will connect you directly to your FTX account. You can name it whatever you want, FTX one, whatever, right? Paste the API keys and that will give you your account. Once you have your account created, you can then go down and you can select it in the dropdown and connect to it just like any old account on NinjaTrader. Now, one thing I do wanna tell you guys is when you switch charts, when you first connect to your account, you wanna make sure that you are connected to your FTX account first before you connect to any other connections. If you have other connections connected automatically, disconnect all those, then reconnect to FTX, and you will start to download the crypto data. So you will also see when you switch charts or when you start to download the crypto data, in the bottom right-hand side of the control center, it'll tell you what chart you're loading. So I'll show you guys an example here. Just go to FTX and we'll pick EOS Perpetual something like that, right? So I just wanna show you, you guys can see downloading ES Perpetual and it takes a little bit, it'll take a little while to load and then it will populate the chart. So, oh, forgot to uh, get rid of these things here. So 
Um, with that said, don't get frustrated and close this and think that it's not working. If it takes a little while to load, it will take a little while to load, especially if you've got a bunch of data loaded. So uh, hit Control F on your chart and just make sure that you don't have a ton of data loaded. Load, you know, three days max, especially if you're loading a 377 tick chart, something like that, and uh, be patient. So uh, that is essentially the gist of it. You can then uh, directly place orders, move orders around, place stop losses, take profits directly on NinjaTrader and monitor your positions. Now I'll show you right here. You can see in my dropdown that I have my FTX account right there. So you just select that in the dropdown and you will indeed be good to go. Uh, another thing that I want to mention is about the advanced order types. So FTX and I believe Binance as well, they have specific order types called uh, take profit order types. You want to try and avoid using those order types because sometimes the orders uh, will get stuck. They turn orange, which means that they, they basically are non-existent other than you know an annoying line on your chart. And you have to basically remove your FTX account from here, from the control center, and then re-add it to get rid of those uh, hanging orange orders. So just try to manually place your limit orders, use limit orders as your stop loss and take profits, and that will uh, keep you out of that annoyance. But you can see here, I've got my EOS chart loaded up, nice and orderly on our tick charts. And that's, that's one beautiful thing that I really suggest you guys to study, especially if you are into crypto or you're interested in trading crypto. Uh, this is going to give you a really good edge because, like I said, very, very small percent. I mean, maybe 1%, if I had to guess, of people know about tick data in crypto, let alone are using it and have access to it. So I'm sure you guys will have questions after seeing this. Uh, with that said, do not hesitate whatsoever to hit me up, leave a comment down below here on the YouTube video. Uh, hit me up on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, even shoot us an email if you have questions and we will be happy to help any way we can. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you and for what it's worth for uh, all the folks that have followed me from Crown's Crypto Cave, uh, much love. And I will be posting a lot more cryptocurrency related content in the near future. And I hope that it is beneficial to you guys. So please feel free if you guys do enjoy crypto content, if you have any specific questions uh, or things that you would like me to discuss in my YouTube content, crypto related, let me know. I really appreciate the video suggestions and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this content. So as always, uh, I appreciate you. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment if you enjoy what you see. And I will see everybody in our next daily recap very soon. Cheers.